Sanctuary is a 2023 Japanese Netflix drama series that debuted May 4th, 2023. This first season is eight episodes, which runs between 30 to 65 minutes long. And it tells the story of Kiyoshi, who is a young guy, a violent young guy. He's very aggressive, very stressed out, has a lot of anxiety. And he joined the world of professional sumo under the Shikona name of Eno. And for the sake of money. And if you didn't know, Shikona is a sumo wrestler's given name, which is given to them by their Oyakata, their stable master. Now, uh, Sanctuary is very different than what you've seen in any other aspect of how we dive into the world of sumo wrestling, because there are no shows about sumo wrestling. And sumo wrestling in the past few years have gotten notoriety and they have seasonal tournaments in January uh march may july it goes on and on it's every other month starting in january up until the end of the year which is the november tournament now i have been a fan of sumo wrestling since i want to say 2016 2017 and the first time i saw it was when hakuho was still yokozuna and then Terano fuji came in and uh, since then it's been fantastic that aspect and the reality of it is very different than what you think this show is this show is what it is it's sumo wrestling but it shows the factor of the hazing the bullying trying to gain up in ranks the injuries that causes the scandals that happen and some things that you wouldn't understand or believe and it's like okay is this exaggerated for the show or the series um maybe it could be i don't want to jump to conclusions but there have been some scandals in sumo if you you know read japanese news if you follow japanese culture and everything then you understand what's happening with that now Kyoshi joins the professional sumo world because he is trying to help his father. And his father is an old gentleman and he owned a restaurant when Kyoshi was younger. And he kind of sold it because he had to pay off some debts. Uh, when that happened, his wife left him or kind of basically in a way like start sleeping with other men for money. And then the son doesn't like what she's doing. So... Um, the Oyakata comes to him and says, you want to make money? This is how you can make money. If you have a certain rank, you can be making certain much of this. And when he joins, he doesn't care. He smokes, he drinks, he just does certain things. And he sleeps in, does what he wants, yawns, and is just like, all right, whatever. I lose, I lose, I win, I win. But he's arrogant. He's over the top. And as you see his story progress from episode one to eight, it takes a while. It really, really does take a while. And it's annoying at times because you're like, you're pushing for him to do absolutely good things and good deeds. And it's just like, okay, get your head out of your ass and actually start doing something. Not only is everyone rooting for you in the show, we ourselves, the viewers are rooting for you too. That's how much aspect is in it. And he's giving the Shikona name of Eno. And not only that, we are also introduced to other characters in the stable, and uh, it goes on from there, which like who he befriends, how he doesn't befriend people, and then reporters covering the story, especially the female reporter who takes a liking to Eno, and uh, it's really, really fun. Not only that, uh, we have another story of a bigger uh, sumo wrestler is, and its name is shizuki and shizuki has a backstory where it's in and out we're like we when we're introduced we're like wow okay he has a scar on his face and it's like what happened to him he does have a dark history and dark past and that is unraveled in this show especially certain episodes and you know he loves the cherry blossoms and you wonder why and he's always been a sumo wrestler since he was a young boy. But he just had this scar, and that's not actually explained how he got it. But the mother was an alcoholic, and then he had a younger brother. Something happened. And then as you're watching it, you think to yourself, like, oh, he did something. But then you actually find out the truth of what actually happened. And it changes your mind and perceptors and perception of Suzuki. He is a dominant sumo wrestler in this and it's crazy crazy to see and there are aspects where it's in your face it's brutal it's bloody not only that his um oyakata and those oyakata is trying to fight with the sumo association because one of the sumo associations 
was go, uh, retired and didn't make rank of Yokozuna, he became Ozeki, and that was it. And ever since then, he has this grudge against him, and he just wants to take down the Ensho stable. Not only that, we have a other factor where Ryuki is another up and coming sumo wrestler who's in another stable. But his father is really pushing for him and is very strict with him. And there are some scandals in that that are like, okay, there are some things that are happening. Everything's intertwined. Episodes 1 through 5 were good. Slow paced. We're getting introduced to the characters. We're still getting introduced to characters, even in episode 5 here and there. Not only that, NO is going out with a call girl who she says uh, their girlfriend and boyfriend. And it's like, wait a minute, what's happening? There are certain things where... Something should have happened, but it didn't. It didn't happen. Uh, but like I was saying, episodes one through five were good. Six, seven, and eight really pushed the boundaries on the storytelling. And what I mean by that is episode six was, okay, we're seeing the rise of Eno. And episode seven is the entire episode of him being put in the passion that he has for sumo wrestling, where he wakes up and he's like, okay, holy shit. I have to do this. Am I doing it for the money or am I doing it because I respect this sport now? Yes, sumo wrestling is a sport. I don't care what anybody says. And it's a big thing in Japan. It's sumo wrestling, wrestling with New Japan Pro Wrestling, and then it's baseball. So, and then you have the aspect of Serna where he has to represent his dojo. And dojo is his stable, if you didn't know. And it just goes on in there. And the aspect of could say the underworld of the professional sumo thing is just like, all right, they go through these rituals, the hazing, the bullying, but then what? Is it the money? Are they doing it for the professions? You also see the aspect of the haircutting ceremony. When a sumo wrestler retires, after they retire, certain uh, people in their lives and even their stable cut their hair. And the top knot, which they have, uh, which represents them throughout their career until they retire, their oyakata cuts it. We don't see that in real life because it's such a sacred ceremony. It's a special ceremony that happens after a uh, wrestler retires. You can, don't have to retire as a Yokozuna. If you do, then that's kudos to you. But you can be an Ozeki, a Sekiwaki, a Komosube. If you don't make it in rank, you retire. You still have to cut your top knot. And we saw that in episode 8 uh, where Enya, who was a one of those leaders in the Ensho stable had that and he had knee problems and everything and he just had to retire because he couldn't do it and the aspect of what you put your body through in sumo wrestling is shown if you watch sumo wrestling during the tournaments that are live on television on nhk you can see the aspect of the grit the formality of what goes into it and this show captured it i mean kyoshi or endo i might say is just that Americanized, like, party person who just doesn't give a shit, but then he comes to his own. The aspect of how everything is done is great. I want this to be picked up for a second season, because the way it ended, it needs a second season. And everything was written well. It was so good. Uh, the drama is there. The acting is there. And it's just like, wow. You, you get angry. You cry. It's emotional. It's in your face. And it's fun. And you yourself are just seeing the regimens that they're doing every day even with eating some of the food or the meals they eat uh the chunko nabe and you know what they go through everyday life to just to be a sumo wrestler and to prepare for it it's just absolutely mind-blowing and crazy um what netflix did and how they picked up a, and this is like the first time netflix kind of in a way established a production base in japan as part of a strategy to develop original live action works like feature films or television and the market in south korea is really really big but now they're pushing to japan and you have south korea and japan with film and television on netflix people will watch it and people will want more of it i want more of this show because this show and this story is not finished and it's not over yet so i'm hoping everything happens if you enjoyed this show then this is a show for you. I highly recommend it. You will love these characters. You will fall in love with them. And you'll be like, wow, what's happening? And there are characters in this you just think, oh, God, they're dumbasses. They're annoying. Yes, that happens. But then you start rooting for them. And when you start rooting for them, things change. And it's absolutely crazy. And the brutal slow motion camera movements, when they're actually sumo 
wrestling in the arena is absolutely crazy, especially the slaps to the face and how they uh, grab the mawashi and throw you. And just the whole aspect of the action is there and it's fun. And it's just, wow, you nothing like you've ever seen before in any television series, especially in Japanese uh, series for that matter. And they have that little anime punches here and there with the slow motion coming at you and then dissipating. Then you see the effect of the slap in the face or the punch and then the throwing. It's just like, wow, what did these actors go through in order to prepare? And some of these sumo wrestlers are former sumo wrestlers themselves who appear in this show so it's absolutely crazy mind-blowing and i had a lot of fun watching this kind of sad that it was only eight episodes but hopefully it's picked up like i keep saying for a second season for me sanctuary gets five out of five stars let me know in the comment section below what you thought about the japanese netflix series sanctuary about sumo wrestling did you like it did you not like it what did you think of it who was your favorite character who was your least favorite character and do you want a second season of sanctuary and what do you think is going to happen in the second season if netflix does order and green light the second season let me know in the comment section below about all the questions i just asked and also let me know what rating you would give sanctuary and be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel I will see you all in the next review video and thank you for tuning in.